Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to grow vegetable indoors and have beautiful harvests like this. These are just a few uh, nice leaves that I just harvested for my indoor plants. So the video may be a little long because I'm gonna give you all the details to help you through the process, uh, but I will provide links to um, each section so that if you want to skip directly to a certain section, you can you can just uh, check the uh, the playlist in the description and go directly to that, so you don't have to uh, listen to the long video. I have done the videos many times before. I'll link you to the previous videos if you want to see it. But we're going to revisit because now is the best time to learn how to grow things indoor with so many things happening in the world. So I'm going to show you how to do it using very simple things that you can find easily I'm trying to make it as easy as possible the things that i'm going to list are things that you can find at your local home depot or lowe's or you can even find them online you can also make your own stuff if you need and it's it's pretty easy to do but here they are what we're going to use uh, is drinking cups right here uh, i recycle this and as you can see i've used it many times already so don't throw these away and uh, you can reuse them you can also use solo cups and as you can see i've used it many many times before and what you can do is um, just use your scissor and you see here just cut some slits just two one one on each side and this would allow excess water to just drain out if you accidentally water too much and this is also acting as the, a, a, a place where the roots will come out because we're going to feed it from the bottom uh, eventually. So that is what it is. And for this, uh, you're going to do the same thing. Uh, you can just poke holes, use a scissor and just poke these holes in there. You can cut the side exactly the same if you like, but these holes will work just fine. Okay, and uh, also, because I have these containers that I bought from Amazon, they're really, really inexpensive. And I bought like a whole box full of this. I think they're like 50 of these uh, containers and I gave a bunch of it away. And four of these containers can fit into a uh, 10 by 10, 10 inches by 10 inches tray. And because we're growing this indoor, you're going to have to get a light setup, some kind of artificial light. So what I recommend is some LED lights. Uh, you can get them very inexpensive. If you don't know a source, uh, I can recommend one for you. I will post the link to Brad's channel. He's uh, the owner of Hidden Harvest Company. And I've been using his lights for a while and they work really well. So let me show you some of the lights uh, set up that he has. Okay, and this is one of the lights set up. A very simple light, very compact unit. And you can actually set up a DIY uh, post to hold these up. And all you need is uh, just something to hang it above your plants. And you see, it'll just go above your plants and the plants will grow right here. Uh, or you can use a grow tent like me. And let me show you the grow tent. Okay, here is my grow tent. And grow tent have gotten really cheap these days. You can get something similar to this for like uh, under $100. And then that's also a light set up by Hidden Harvest Company. I grew a bunch of stuff and I moved them out and now I have extra room. So that's why we're growing these lettuce. So uh, I wanted to show you all that first before we go into growing the lettuce because that's what you really need. Okay, so back to uh, starting your seeds. We're going to do that first. So these are the containers we're going to use. So we'll put them aside for now. I'm going to start seeds in two different cups because I'm going to grow two different varieties. Uh, the first one is going to be romaine and the other one is going to be the red lettuce. So let me show you what they look like outside so that you can see uh, how beautiful the plants are and then <laughs> you can continue with the video. Alright guys, here is the romaine and that's how beautiful it will look if you grow them in your garden. And these are just uh, arugula and if you want to grow them like this you can watch my video on how to collect seeds for romaine arugula or any other lettuce and then you can grow them like this but here's a beautiful romaine right here 
And let me show you the red lettuce. Okay, here is another romaine next to the red lettuce right there. See how beautiful they are. These are great, nice, and easy to grow. They taste great as well. Okay, so for those that don't want to see the long introduction of all the items that may take a while and you're impatient, I'm gonna put a timeline below so you can skip directly through and uh, get to the part that you wanna watch. So uh, let's go ahead and begin uh, with the starting our seeds. Um, of course, you're going to need seeds and these are seeds that I harvested in the previous season. So this is a, these are romaine. And this huge bag here are the red lettuce. Okay, and uh, because you've grown this indoor, it's very important to get the correct type of soil. Because if you get the wrong type of soil, then you could potentially have uh, fungus gnats flying around in your tent. So what I found was these here. And these are the ProMix uh, uh, compressed um, potting mix right here. And uh, these don't have any fungus gnats in them, but sometimes I have, uh, I, I put this in my garage and then I usually open my garage and fungus gnats still get in anyway. So that's okay because uh, it's in the garage so they're not as annoying. But if you're grown in your, you know, wherever your living space is and uh, the gnats are there, it could be very, very annoying. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and add some seeds. So we'll take our container, we're gonna fill this up Okay, so we have the soil ready. Now we're gonna apply the seeds to the top. So we'll take uh, some seeds here and you can just pull out uh, these, these fuzzy looking thing here. Just pull them out. And then just squeeze them in your hand. You see? See those seeds? So this is the uh, romaine lettuce seeds. And as you can see, just one of those fuzz is uh, contain all of these seeds here. So we're gonna try to space them out. That way, because this is just a uh, container to start seeds, we're gonna transplant them to another container. So um, there are the seeds on top, you can see. You can just pat them down a little bit. And then we just put another little thin layer of soil on top. And now we're going to add water. Make sure it's nice and moist so that the seeds can uh, make contact with the water so they can sprout. All right, so once you add some water, then we're going to take a bag. And we're going to place it on top just like that. And then you put it basically anywhere. You can put it by the window, you can put it in your grow tent. Uh, seed, seeds don't need light to grow, but as soon as they sprout, you must provide them light or else they become leggy. And uh, those are not good to, uh, to plant because it'll, it'll be a challenge. The plants will fall over and all that stuff. So make sure you give them plenty of light enough so that they don't become uh, thin and leggy. So I'm going to put it into uh, my grow tent and I'll show you where they go. Okay guys, here is where the plants are going to stay. So there it is, make sure you put a label on them. And they should sprout in around three to five days. All right guys, it has been seven days now and my seedlings have sprouted. So the romaine was a little bit slower than the red lettuce, but um, they're good enough to be transplanted now. And you may be wondering why I didn't start seeds directly in these pots. You could if you want to. The reason I did this was because I need these plants for other purposes, so that is why. So <laughs> a lot of people may wonder and make comments. There is a reason why I did this, but you can start seeds directly in there if you want to. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take the seedlings out and then we're gonna put it into these containers here. I'm gonna grow two red lettuce and two romaine and then another romaine. So for the red lettuce, we're just going to um, dig them out. Just use any utensil you have, just dig straight down because at this stage, the root point right down straight so it's easy to remove. 
okay so there it is and then we're going to put it in to this container just make a nice hole and fit them in push them down a little bit and then give them some water And then make sure the, the, the soil has nice moisture and it's not running wet. Um, if they are running wet and your soil has good drainage, it'll drain through to the bottom and then the tray will catch it. So you, you want to use good soil with good uh, drainage. All right guys, so here is where the lettuce are gonna go. It's gonna sit right next to my solar power hydroponic. So there it is right there. It uh, has a tray down here to catch the excess water to keep my tent nice and clean. So I have five plants going on right now. You can do as many as you like. Here is a look at the tent. It is a four by two by five. That's five feet high. And this is uh, the light by Hidden Harvest Company. So I will post you all the links so you can check them out. There it is. We will be back soon once they grow and I will give you guys an update. All right, today is day number 13 and look at my plants. They are looking beautiful. I've added a few. This is spinach right here and uh, pak choy. Uh, that one is, uh, I think those are um, salad bowl lettuce. And then the red lettuce is over there and then those two in the back. And this one are romaine. So in 13 days, they are looking beautiful and growing nicely. So um, make sure to check the uh, soil um, condition because if it's dry, like here, you see, sometimes it's dry at the top, but at the bottom it's still pretty nice and uh, moist, so you don't have to water. But uh, if it is dry, just get a spray bottle and then give it some water. All right guys, it has been exactly 23 days now and the plants are looking beautiful, except for these over here. So uh, those red lettuce are not doing very well because I forgot to water these plants for a while. And then a few days ago, I had a baby. So <laughs> I left to go to the hospital and I didn't water the plants before that. And then I stayed in the hospital for a few days. So um, when I got back, these plants were pretty dried. So I think this one was dead because uh, it was just too dried. And I was able to save that one, but it didn't do much. It, it just didn't grow. I think that the roots were damaged, but the rest did just fine. And uh, this is pak choy here. Salad bowl lettuce is doing awesome. Romaine back there, and here's another romaine. And then I have some spinach. And you may be wondering why these here are growing so much faster than those. And that is because uh, for these here, I separated them. I grow them in cups. As you can see, they're double cups. And uh, I've been feeding them hydroponic nutrients to the bottom. And uh, when you do that, when you feed nutrients directly to the roots, it's like feeding candy to a baby. They love it and they just soak up the water and grow like crazy. So that is the difference. So here I haven't been feeding them anything. Uh, here I have been feeding them hydroponic nutrients. So um, that is the difference. You can do that if you like. So I will show you the process. So if you want to boost the growth of your plants, um, you can do that. So let's go ahead and and show you what, what I did here. This is a one and a half liter of water. The Aero Garden liquid um, plant food here, and I will list where you can get this. They're very easy to come by, and these things will last for a very long time. So you don't have to buy the big jug like here. You can get a smaller one. Okay, so for that we're going to use a medicine dropper here. This is a three milliliter. So I'm gonna to take just three milliliter, and I'm gonna put it into. 1.5 liter bottle and then you just shake it up okay and if you don't want to use that type of nutrients you can also use these here that you can buy 
locally at your uh, garden center or your Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. These are very inexpensive. Um, they, I think they're under $5 and then sometimes during the winter time when there's clearance, these are like a few bucks. So I usually buy them in the winter time. And for this, what I usually do is uh, I use one, uh, let's see what they say here, tablespoon. So they, they, they tell you tablespoon. Um, you can go a little less if you like, but one tablespoon per gallon of water, just mix it up and then uh, feed the plants the same way. Okay, so here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my plants here and I'll just lift the cup. And as you can see, there are roots all over the bottom. You see? And you want to give it... So there's a line down there at the bottom. The, the first line, uh, I, I put a pebble in there so that I know um, where I should fill. So there's a pebble in there. So I just fill above the pebble. That's it. You see, just just a little bit, just enough so that it will drink it up uh, every day. And then you put it back. And then the next day you do it again and these plants will just soak up the, the, the nutrients down there and it'll grow like, like crazy. Uh, same thing with this. You just, see, look at all the, look at the roots. And that, that's what happened when you feed uh, the plants directly to the roots. They will put out more roots to try to get the nutrients in. And so, there you go. And so that is what I did to feed uh, these two plants uh, to get them to grow so fast. And um, you see how clean they are? I mean, you can do like four of these or five of these or however many uh, you have space for and then you have a ton of lettuce you can actually harvest right now just cut a few leaves and then they'll just keep growing back and same with those as well you can start harvesting this here and then they'll grow back so um whichever method you decide to go with it they still work the same all right guys today is day number 28 and the plants are doing really nice today we are going to harvest some leaves to make some salad so let's go ahead and cut some of these off uh, you may notice that i have a bunch more plants than i initially had because uh, i added a few uh, I brought that hydro unit inside and out often because uh, anytime it rains, <laughs> I have to, to move it. So uh, this is a good spot for them because the light is strong enough. You see that? If you put it close enough, it'll generate bubbles. But anyway, just this is for the lettuce plants. So we are going to harvest this romaine, some spinach. And look at this beautiful salad bowl. Man, it is growing so much faster than the rest. And then the romaine back there, those are the ones that uh, probably lacked water when I neglected them. So they grew a little bit slower than the rest. But uh, uh, I fixed the problem, so they should be doing well. And I actually saved that one there. The other one is dead, so I took it out and I added some perpetual spinach. Uh, if you have not grown perpetual spinach, uh, they love heat and uh, they grow really well. They look like Swiss chard, but they taste very similar to spinach. So I added a few and these are going to be great plants to grow inside uh, in the warm condition. So let's go ahead and cut some of these and then allow them to grow back and then we'll cut again at a later time. Okay, when you harvest lettuce, uh, you want to cut just the leaves that you need to use and then allow them to grow back because if you cut the entire plant, then that is it. <laughs> so uh, just cut what you need. Look at this beautiful leaves here. And then for the romaine. Okay. 
Okay guys, this is how much we harvested from these plants so far. For 28 days, that is not bad at all. So I have romaine, salad bowl, and some spinach. This is gonna be a nice salad for lunch or dinner. Um, very low maintenance, not much um, that I have done with the, uh, the soil plants. Uh, for the hydro, I just added uh, a bit of nutrients every single day. So um, here is what they look like. I've added some radish, some beets, and some more radish. Here's the spinach that we cut off. And perpetual spinach, that is gonna grow later. This is the romaine and the hydro. Salad bowl, there's really not much left of that. The red lettuce, <laughs> this one's making a comeback. Those two romaine, I also cut off. So um, that's what's happening in 28 days. They should grow back very soon, so I will come back and show you uh, another harvest uh, very soon. All right, guys, it has been six days now since we harvested the plants and now we can come back and harvest again. So today I'm going to end the video, but before we go, I'm going to summarize what we've done. Also, uh, I wanna give you guys a few tips to make things a little bit easier when you do this on your own. So uh, the first thing is, um, uh, as I mentioned, sometimes when you grow plants indoor, you may struggle with fungus gnats and uh, to reduce the chances of uh, getting those gnats inside your grow room uh, is to use a soil that um, uh, potentially doesn't have any so like if you go to the big box store like home depot and stuff like that buy the bags that are stored inside they call a seed starting mix and they usually s uh, store those inside the stores and so those usually don't have any of those fungus gnats uh, if you see the bags laying on the floor outside, um, you know, they usually have holes and stuff like that. Then those will have gnats in them. Uh, also, um, fungus gnats usually uh, lay their eggs uh, uh, in the top layer of the soil. So if the top two inches of the soil is dry, um, then they can't get in and do, do anything and multiply. So um, initially, in the beginning, that may be tough because you have to water from top in order for the, the young roots to get enough um, moisture to grow. But eventually, once they get old enough, the roots are all going to be way down here. And from that point on, you can bottom water so that when, you, uh, when the water soaked up into the soil, it goes to around somewhere here. And then the top is like bone dry and that will deter, deter fungus gnats from multiplying as well. So I'm going to show you um, the process that I use to water these plants now that they are really, really big. Look at this, the red lettuce actually made it back after a long time since everything else is already big and being harvested. I was able to save the plant, just one, the other one's dead. So I removed it and put perpetual spinach and believe it or not guys these here are started at the same time and i took these guys from here and they were actually right here so i dug them out and placed them there and the reason this one grew so fast was because uh, it's in this little container here and then once i see roots to the bottom i fed the roots directly and so that's why it is so big compared to those so uh, feeding plants directly to the roots uh, will uh, increase their growth a little or maybe a lot. But uh, anyway, let me show you the, the watering process, um, uh, bottom feeding. So as you can see, I have this tray here. Um, this is a 10 by 20 and a 10 by 20 can actually hold eight of these pots here. I will list the pots. Uh, uh, where I got them on Amazon so that you can use the same exact one if you want and also the trays. Uh, so 10 by 20 will hold eight of those tray uh, containers. Uh, you can also use a 10 by 10 and it will uh, hold just um, four. So uh, here is my watering process. 
and as you can see I, I showed you guys how to mix the nutrients and uh, I use the Aero Garden nutrients. You can use whatever you want. You can use uh, compost tea if you want to go with organic. And just put it into a gallon. And then just pour it into the tray. You see that? And then at the bottom of each of those pots, uh, there are openings. So the openings will allow water to be kind of like absorbed into the pot. I'll show you you see and then the larger plants like the lettuce here you see it has roots down there and uh, that actually um, will help the plants get uh, the nutrients and the water directly so it does uh, increase the growth rate so uh, it's only been six days and uh, we can already harvest those those here and here so let's go ahead and do that right now All right guys, look what I have harvested so far. This is a good amount for um, some nice lettuce. And I tried these the last time. Man, these are amazing. They're nice and crisp and very tender. And they grow very fast as well. So um, maybe the next time I do this, I'm gonna grow mainly these because they're so good and they grow so fast. And uh, when I was harvesting, you notice that I have um, a few fungus gnats flying around. Um, it's very difficult to prevent them completely because uh, sometimes I have my garage door open and uh, the, you know they could fly from outside or it could be the soil that I brought with, with me inside. So yeah, you can see that I added new plants. And so um, when you bring plants in and out, uh, you increases the chance of, uh, of fungus gnats coming in and out. And I think that's what happened because I didn't notice them before, but once I brought um, these radishes here, tobacco plant, and um, um, a few of the other stuff, then I got uh, fungus gnats in here. But they don't really bother me because this is inside my garage. And um, once um, these plants are larger, then I'm going to I'm going to apply the uh, the top dry layer, and they should be okay. Oh man, I forgot one more plant that I didn't um, show you guys because I I took it over there to do um, uh, pictures. So let me go bring it. Here it is. This is the uh, the pak choy, and uh, you may have seen this in the in the beginning of the video and. Uh, it is a gorgeous plant and <laughs> I like to take pictures of my plants so I moved these things around and I forgot about them so um, look at this very nice and beautiful and you know it right now is pretty hot, warm and so um, this is why there are flowers here so these things like cooler condition so uh, that is it guys I hope that um, you find this information helpful and it is times like this that um you should learn how to grow things inside uh, get fresh vegetable whenever you want and uh, you know exactly where it came from and uh, who grew it and all that stuff so it's, it's a benefit to you all so i hope you enjoy the video and uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching